I didn't even believe this at first, but yeah, it happened. In 1958, a man from New York named Robert Lane had a child with his wife, a little baby boy. Since Robert had recently named his last son Winner, thinking it might give him a boost in life, I guess he thought it'd be pretty funny if he named this son Loser, just to see what would happen. So, the two kids, Winner Lane and Loser Lane, went on to live their lives, but each with wildly different expectations. They both grew up surrounded by the same people in the Wagner Projects in Harlem. And almost immediately, one boy started to stand out, both in terms of athletic and academic performance. This boy would go on to receive a scholarship to the elite Pomfret boarding school before attending Lafayette College and earning a six-figure salary as an NYPD detective. On the other hand, the second boy lived a life of crime, accumulating over 30 arrests and spending two years in prison before moving into a homeless shelter. That boy was Winner Lane. The successful detective? Loser Lane. As of 2002, when the brothers were last interviewed, they rarely see each other anymore. Loser, who goes by Lou, had been promoted to sergeant, while Winner still seemed to be trying to get his life back on track. If you guys ever become parents, I'm trusting you not to turn your kids into social experiments.